In this short instructional video, I will demonstrate realistic anatomical simple prostatectomy model using a clementine, and this has been produced by Nathan Laurentrak at the University of Toronto, Canada. For this experiment, creating a prostate model for simple prostatectomy using fruit, in this case clementine, you'll need a clementine or like citrus fruit, a piece of foam, cardboard, for fixation, some basic surgical instruments, a needle driver, medicine balm scissors, a party balloon, a skewer and some suture material. Firstly scissors are passed through the clementine as such, right through the centre if possible, as this will form the pathway for the urethra. We then replace this pair of scissors with a needle driver. We then carefully grasp a party balloon all the way across, which we then drag through. This is now the urethra of the model. Suture is then tied to the uh, neck of the balloon and the free needle is left as this will be used to help fixate the model to the foam or cardboard shortly thereafter. Heavy suture is then passed through the foam and this will now be passed through the base of the prostate, in this case through the through just through the skin as this is ideal for fixing the prostate to the model. And we repeat this procedure and tie down. We also tie down the suture from the urethra, bring it back through and tie it to this end of the balloon. So now we have the model fixed and in this instance we've, uh, rather than having a person hold the model, we've fixed it on the foam with a suture going now through uh, the foam and back around and rejoining to the pseudo-urethra, which in this case is in fact the balloon. We just cut that away. So now we can see that we have a model which has been uh, fixed down and is ready to be uh, practiced on from the point of view of an open retropubic simple prostatectomy. As with uh, an open simple prostatectomy done, it's important to place sutures within the capsule prior to incision and this is an important principle of the anatomy of this procedure such that the capsule itself may uh, be uh, incised without causing too much bleeding. Once we make an incision inside the prostate like we've done here we can then uh, incise the adhesions and indeed create a plane between the so-called adenoma or the pulp of the uh, clementine and the skin which is the compressed normal prostate tissue as we would do exactly in real life and this can be extended further around. The beauty of the more advanced model using the balloon is that when we dissect down we can formally here see the urethra on the stretch as it happens in real life and we can formally cut through the urethra with the medicine balm scissors as one would do in the actual operation and this is an essential teaching point. If we extend the incision for the purposes of this video as we have now removed the prostate adenoma intact we can therefore by incising the capsule which I just done previously we can see in the bottom the fixing suture which fix this to the foam board and in this extended model we can then practice over sewing these as if they were uh, blood vessels at the base of the capsule. More importantly we can also head to the bladder neck and, and uh, in this way over sew bleeders at the bladder neck again as a principle of the procedure. Once completing the uh, over sewing the blood vessels at the bottom the capsule is enclosed and here you can see a tear in the capsule which simulates again what happens in the real patient particularly those who are thinned out and indeed we can close the model perfectly 
with the uh, bladder neck as well uh, focused on from the inside prior to this. So all up this is a model which demonstrates the principles of anatomy of a simple open prostatectomy but it could also be used uh, with a laparoscopic approach either robotic assisted or not and indeed this model is one which clarifies some of the finer points of a procedure which is done less often today as it was in the past.